Hi beauties. I hope I'm in focus and everything. Long time no see. I know. I was gone. Here's a video. Don't know when the next one is coming. <laughs> but today I wanted to work on a bridal makeup look. I wanted to see if I um, could pull that off and I did it. So here's the deal. I filmed this yesterday. Majority of the video was like this. <laughs> Whatever. Don't ask. So here I am, I'm gonna film it again. So I've washed and moisturized my face. I let the moisturizer sit on my face. I have a lot of eye moisturizer on. I think for a bridal makeup look, I want something that is um, kind of skin-like. You wanna look like my skin, but better. You know, um, you wanna look glowing, like you made the best decision in your life. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do a lot of skin prep. So I'm gonna use um, primer, color corrector, the whole shebang. I'm just gonna let you know, I'm going to prime my eyelids with eyeshadow primer. Cause eyebrows can get greasy also when you fill them in or draw them in, especially with a wax. Um, so I'm gonna use a primer for that. I'm going to use this lighter brown instead of this very dark um, cold brown I'm gonna use slightly oh same depth of brown but slightly warmer um, this one is just by wet and wild I'll use my regular concealers which are the LA girl pro conceal um, I use fawn or toffee for under here and the eyelid area and I use toast for the top because that's closest to my skin tone I prefer a highlight underneath closer to skin tone on the top it's easier to blend into your foundation Okay, so eyebrows are done. I did go ahead and set them with my black opal um, setting powder in the shade 400 medium. Also prime my eyelids for eyeshadow and you'll see me set my primer, which I never actually usually do. And that is because I usually go for maximum color payoff. So I usually leave my base sticky. If you add a powder onto your um, primer, what happens is you get a very soft, very uh like a weak color which is what i want this time with the bridal effect i'm wanting a very blended look i'm wanting i'm gonna put eyeshadow out here i wanted a very soft blended look i want to look kind of flawless you know so i don't want harsh lines i don't want strong colors coming at you um so i'm going to use my translucent powder and i'm I'm going to use my translucent powder and set that. Um, if up here, if I was going to apply a shadow up here, I would have just put translucent powder all over the eyelid. But I think I'm going to let hair be my natural skin color, so I just went and put my face powder right there. So I'm going to go ahead and set all of that so that my eyeshadow will blend easier. It still stops creasing if you set it, but I usually deal with the creasing because I want the color payoff, you know? I'm just going to let you see the colors that I'm using for blending. This is my Morphe 3502 palette use this fluffy blending brush um pretty much all of my transition colors i'll do this and i will use my finger and i'll use this um flat eyeshadow oh this flat eyeshadow brush here um you'll see when i use it i'm using this color here which normally would not show on me at all 
and it still kind of doesn't show but it's giving me the effect that I want very skin like um, color for me uh, you probably can't hardly see it at all but I'm taking it pretty high just under that brow bone color and I'm holding my brush really close to the end um, I'm using a fluffy brush and I'm holding it close to the end which gives me like when I hold it up here I can really dig in and get a lot of color but when I hold it at the end it gives me a very soft um, kind of blown out blend and that's what I'm going for with this bridal look so guys I am not a makeup artist I am self-taught so if I'm doing anything wrong I am sorry but this is how I would do it like if I was getting married today this is what I would do for my makeup I'm just saying And a lot of this eyeshadow is super simple and a lot of it is just a lot of excess blending just to give you that flawless look. Now I'm gonna take this color here, which is again very soft and I'm gonna, but slightly deeper, and I'm gonna go almost exactly where I put the other color, but it's like an eighth of a millimeter below. And again, very soft hand very soft blend I mean holding at the edge of the brush super big fluffy brush well it's not big but it is very it is very uh, fluffy bendy and I'm making these circular movements at the end going out like away from the eye almost and then I'm bringing whatever's left on the brush towards the nose and I'm staying high on my eye this color just right here I still want it to be soft so I'm gonna take this for the depth this for the warmth just kind of flicking the color in just placing it here flicking it in so I've got that soft depth that I'm looking for I'm just taking extra time to blend it up into the crease color making sure they kind of gradually fade up. One of my lights was off, sorry. So that's it for my transition. Looking soft and blown out like I want. And I'm just gonna take a tad bit more primer, I guess. Yeah, I'll do primer. Even though I already set it, whatever. Just gonna tap that in there because I'm gonna go for my shimmer now. What I'm gonna use is the Juvia's Place Masquerade Mini Palette. And I'm gonna go with this color right here. When I get done with that, I'm gonna take this more golden champagne color with this um, super light champagne. I'm gonna take the two of these and just put those right in the center where my eye wrist or my eye color would be. the same brown that I used as my second color to try to build up that um, transition color in my crease and it is so much more obvious to me um, under the eye here but that's because I'm using a smaller brush it's more uh, densely packed so it's not blowing out the color the same as that fluffy blending brush was I hate giving eyeshadow names because I'm like just use what you have that's similar to what I'm talking about but that color is called Toast and it's in that Morphe palette if you're using the same palette. But if you're not, just use more the most similar, um, you know, cool tone brown like if you have that. 
I'm going right under the lash line close as I can with this super um, short dense smudger brush Eyes are done so I'm gonna clean my hands off trying to pick up any glitter that may have fallen out without wiping off too much of all of that nice moisturizer I have down for wedding makeup I would prefer to focus on the skin so I'm gonna use two primers and I'm gonna use a luminous you know I always go for a matte finish like matte but I'm gonna try to go for a luminous finish to give a little bit more of a glow, a little healthy look. Look like you in the prime of your life, even if you're not. Um, so I'm gonna go for a glow. I'm gonna color correct because I don't want all my blemishes to show through. I am currently living with some uh, bad life choices here. But that is whatever at this point. Got another one over here. People, stick to your diet, okay? If you ain't supposed to have cheese, don't have cheese, man. <laughs> she says to herself. So I'm color correcting and priming at the same time. I did push it into my pores like spackle. I also did do my, um, my Mary Kay microdermabrasion last night, um, the night before, so my face is like super smooth feeling. I'm going to set that because, um, one, because Jackie Ina said to. <laughs> Second, because um, primer is one layer that the oil can't really get through. Any undesired oil can't get through. And I'm not really oily since it's winter, but I would do this anyways because the one day you don't, is the day my skin would betray me. I always mix my foundations. So today I'm using uh, Mary Kay's Time Wise Luminous 3D Foundation as well as the same foundation but in a matte formulation. So the matte cup, don't ask me why the colors are different in matte versus luminous. They're both bronze W150, but they're different colors in matte and luminous. So matte gives me the coverage I need and luminous gives me the color I need and that's the reason why I blend them um, these are my colors now that it's winter time um, I even have to blend in Mac I wear NW 45 and 46 on in the summer I wear 46 and 47 I think um, in my Fenty I only have that 420 color or 430 I mean but I, it's a little red for me, so I have to work with it. But you know, like, I'm not gonna buy two $40 foundations, I'm just not. This foundation is $22. I'll buy that, I'll buy two of those. It's like buying one, you know, like I'm cool with that. But yeah, so, but to that, I'm gonna add this NYX Born to Glow Liquid Illuminator. So I already have extra um, luminous, formulation and then I'm adding this next illuminator it looks dark but it really just on my skin it just it just shines it just looks like my skin is shiny I forgot to say I'm I'm using my Mary Kay makeup finishing spray um, to spray I just spray like one spray on my face to help with the blend and as I am spreading this what I'm doing is stippling like pushing like mm, tapping the makeup into my skin I'm just doing it a lot faster and I, that's called stippling so I'm stippling that all over my face as I blend it and I'm just pushing it onto the foundation I'm not rubbing in a circle because I don't want to disturb the products I put down too much this mix is like it and I tried a lot of mixes guys sometimes you just have to play you just have to try like I was looking green and gray and all kind of weird colors 
for a while until I found the mix. And when summer comes around, I'm gonna be outdoors. So that means I'm gonna have to find, you know, I might have to find another mix. I might have to add a cooler shade. Here we are. This is what we have. This is my bridal makeup look. I'm gonna do really quick. Um, so my camera is gonna die. This is my final makeup look. This is what I would do if I was getting married today. This will be my bridal makeup. Yes, extravagant lashes and all. Um, I am going to set with setting spray to finish, to set everything in place. The same Mary Kay that I used when I was blending my foundation. I want a mildly glowy look, which is why I put all that effort into having luminous foundation and stuff like that. So I'm just gonna do that down, two pumps down the center, three. So yeah, as always, like this video if you like this video. Subscribe if you're feeling my vibe. And click a, and click a thumbs up if you like this video right and check out another video while you're here um oh boy <laughs> all right bye